SAFM 104 to 107 Nationwide. 16 minutes to 7. Good morning. Well, there's still several court cases underway around Cabinet's plan to end the Zimbabwean exemption permit. But people who employ Zimbabwean nationals here who are under that permit are now being advised to start making preparations ahead of December. Government says that in December, all people under the Zimbabwean exemption permit must leave the country. Gerard Papenfuss, the Chief Executive of the National Employers Association. Gerard, good morning and thank you for your time on SFM this morning. Good morning, Sian. What are you advising employers to do? Well, you know, just to make sure, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, there are different kinds of uh, permits, visas, and just to make sure that, uh, you know, your particular uh, employee falls under this uh, uh, particular dispensation, then you need to be prepared to uh, to terminate that employee service at the end of the year, which is, in our view, very wrong. It's uh, it's very wrong. It's very unfortunate that this is happening. Uh, these are very valuable uh, employees in, in many sectors, in the, the, the hospitality sector, we know them. And uh, so uh, business is very, very unhappy by, uh, by, by this arrangement. Uh, these are very good workers in general, uh, predominantly very good workers. They work very hard. They're very reliable. And uh, so this is a loss for the country, and it's very wrong. I think it's immoral. Um, do you believe that it will result in people employing more South Africans? You know, you know... When you can't find the right employee, you don't employ. Uh, and, and, and even if they are replaced by South Africa, it will make no difference in our un- unemployment situation. I've, uh, I've got a personal uh, friend who's got a, got a transport business. He will lose a number of uh, um, uh, drivers. And he told me how uh, difficult it is for him to replace them. Um, they just can't get the right uh, uh, employees. Um, you know, um, fraudulent uh, uh, driver's licensing certificates, uh, clearly people that's not been trained. Um, so it's, it's difficult. It's not impossible, but it's difficult. And uh, to, to lose a good employee is, is very difficult. Uh, this, this employee is uh, managing a track that's costing millions. And, uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, You know, when you can't find somebody, then uh, if you need to replace a good worker and you can't find find somebody that you can absolutely trust and rely on, then, uh, well, then then you just don't employ. But the sad part of this is is that uh, we have uh, made this, uh, the government has made this uh, particular arrangement, the Zimbabwean exemption permits in 2009. It was called something else then at the time of the World Cup, specifically for the construction industry and the, uh, 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 f- for uh, the, the hospitality industry. And now, 12 years later, after these people have set up a new lives in South Africa, started families, married, started families, uh, is established in South Africa, they're thrown out of the country. I am... Um, the, the collective conscience... Uh, of South Africa simply cannot take this. We, 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 we're not supposed to do this. Can I ask, um, it's just a technical question, in some cases, someone who's working for an employer, so the employer, I think your advice is, must ask to see their documents. Um, yeah. If can, can an employer demand to see someone's documents? In other words, the person may not want to show them. Can an employer sort of demand proof that someone's in the country legally or legally allowed to work? I can imagine that could get quite complicated. Well, it, it can. In fact, it must. Uh, you know, there's a huge penalty on an employer if he employs an illegal uh, uh, immigrant, a uh, foreign national. Uh, so you need to, you must demand that. Um, yeah, so, so, but I can tell you, you know, I, I just want to tell you this, Stephen. I've, we've published a, a circular a few days ago. You must be aware of that. And uh, I've never seen the response on social media as I've seen on this thing. Never. It is just huge. There's an outcry in South Africa on this issue. Both Zimbabweans and South Africans, I've never seen it before. It is as if this thing has touched a very sensitive nerve of all South Africans realizing this is wrong. Put yourself in the, in the, in the place of another person 
that after 12 years, you've married, you've got children here, they're in schools, you're thrown out of the country. It is, it is just terrible. And it's not as if it's millions. It's 182,000 employees. Uh, it will make no difference. Uh, you know, I think this, but what's happened here is a response to the demands of, and I say this with, with care, hooligans, saying that we are going to target these people. And it will make no difference in our unemployment dilemma. Gerard Papenfuss, thank you for the time. Chief Executive of the National Employers Association with a strong view on that issue there. 011-714-2006, you with SFM, 10 minutes to 7.